Helakandi SP Ramandeep Kaur has been transferred and posted as the new SP of the Kachar district, uh, which witnessed violence on its border with Mizoram on the 26th of July. The Kachar SP Nimbalkar Webhav Chandrakant is injured and has actually been airlifted to Mumbai for treatment. Uh, let's go back to Shivani. Shivani, give us more details of this development. Of course, uh, you know, the SP uh, will have a difficult task ahead of him uh, since the situation still remains, uh, you know, quite tense. The whole uh, situation out here, I'll t uh, try and uh, show you the officials who are present here. And uh, 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 Ramandeep Kaur is also present here. Uh, the new transfers that, that, have, that had come late yesterday, where the Assam Zaila Khan, the SP Ramandeep Kaur, has been transferred and she has been posted as the new SP in Kachar district. And this is the place we are present right now. Ramandeep Kaur is also here. She is negotiating with the uh, the Congress leaders. Let me show you the board out here. This is the Dolai police station in uh, district Kachar of Assam. And uh, we have seen that how the, uh, the violence uh, uh, had hit the border area. And Kachar SP Nimbalkar Webhav Chandrakant was injured in the violence. And he is uh, in Mumbai. He had uh, been taken to uh, Mumbai in a special aircraft of the Air Force where he was re last reported. He was undergoing treatment. He was in the ICU. He was hit by a bullet. And here, the officials who have been transferred, they've already taken charge and they are present right now here. We'll try and show you the images and the uh, negotiations and the uh, deliberations that are taking place here at uh, Dholai of uh, Kachar district. But definitely, the situation doesn't seem uh, out of ease, though it is under control. But the trend tension prevails. A lot of politics has also begun. A lot of blame game is going on. People are uh, under unrest. We'll show you uh, the visuals of uh, uh, Ramandeep. Uh, I will show you. Uh, Ma'am, you have been given a new responsibility. Do you have to say about the whole situation that's going on? See, currently we had this uh, uh, skirmish. And uh, as of now, the situation is like, as per directives of MHA, there is a neutral force which is deployed at the borders. Uh, so this is the status as of now. Uh, situations is unfolding. Senior officials are uh, discussing the issue. Uh, um, we are sure there will be a resolution very soon. Ma'am, there are evidences that the LMGs were being fired upon. So have you been looking into that aspect? Also? We are looking into that aspect. We are. We are investigating into that aspect. Can there be an international uh, angle to it also? Rohingyas have been active in the... Emergency. See, we are investigating in from all aspects. We are yet... To investigate. We so, are yet uh, to with the reshuffling of the opportunities and your uh, this thing, has it become uh, more challenging? What else do you have to now cover with this new posting? We'll have to see as the situation evolves. We'll have to see. So you are not letting the Congress delegation move ahead? It's not about Congress delegation. It's about any other delegation. In a conflict zone, there, is, there should not be any movement. That's the only thing. It's not about any uh, political uh, uh, delegation prohibited. Ma'am, what's the situation on ground right now, if may I ask you? As I told you, as uh, currently, there is CRPF, which is deployed as neutral force as per the directives of MHA. And uh, there are forces from Mizoram and Assam side both behind that. So that is the status as of now.